Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how you can add WYSIWYG editor to your product page. So here is the product page. You can write the product name here as well as the description. But for the description, I want to have a WYSIWYG editor. There are many options for WYSIWYG editor. I have used so many of them. But the last one I am going to show is the, the best one is this one. It is called Quill, which is nice. It is open source. It is free. You can use it. You can customize it. And it is super, super like clean and nice so let's start how you can use this one in any javascript project you can go to the quilljs.com you can use it in react in view in any other javascript framework so this is the original website for vue.js there is a package this package is going to combine vue.js and quill and give you a clean and nice editor for you this is what we are going to use because we are using vue.js so here is how you can install it so i will just copy the command I'll come to uh, code editor here. I will add another terminal. So we paste the code and it is going to save this in our dev directory. Once you do that one, or you can use yarn of course, all you have to do is just import it anywhere you want to use. You can use globally. Maybe in most pages you do not use it. You do not have to import it like view editor. But in the pages you need to use, you can just import it there. So you can copy this line and use it. If you want to do some advanced hook, you can import Quill also. When you install this one, it is going to install Quill also with the view editor. Just this command will do that for you. So what you can do is, for now we will use this one. But in the future, if we cover the blogging for our e-commerce website, I will show you how you can use the advanced API here with Quill also. For now, you just copy this one. And let's see, yeah, it did, did install and i'm going to use that in the product page so i will scroll up here before you import anything just paste your code and save it here in the second terminal in the node it is going to compile it down it's everything is working fine and here is how you can use it scroll down there are many options you can use the view editor component in your app and you can bind it to a model if i come here refresh the page i'm going to show you how you can bind it to the description of your product you create a new product here's the description the model for this input or text area is called description so you can bind to this one so how you do that one if i come here here is the description in our data model so i will scroll up we have the text area described here and instead of this one i am going to come to the documentation and use what they have here i'll copy this one and paste it now the model here is the model name okay you we don't have the model name or yeah i have to scroll a little this way here's the model name is product dot description you copy this one and you can write it here of course i can write it now you can get rid of the uh, the other one so you save it now it should work just fine it is now completely fine but what you can do is you can do some other stuff also for now let's see if it works you refresh the page and coming all the way down you add the product it is not showing here if you come to the documentation when you import it make sure you add that in the component of your component you are using so you have you have to add an, uh, another code here if i scroll down currently we are not using any other component so what you can do is after the props you can add we didn't use any props so far we will cover the props in the future video of course they are very useful when we discuss about cards we will use props a lot so uh, if you save it for now coming to your application here in the product page this time it should work just fine you click on the edit and here it is here is the WYSIWYG editor and it is very nice and clean let's upload the picture and see if it is working just fine some of the pictures i have used for vue.js here it is it can upload the image so let me tell you one thing about this it is going to change the image to base 64 and upload it here of course you can handle that later how you can upload an image maybe you upload the image in any other server or s3 on amazon services or the fire store they have called uh, something called storage where you can store all your image in the future video i will show you how you can store it there for now what it is going to do is it is going to change that to base 64 and upload it here 
if you don't know about base64 it is just a sort of like the image and types and terms of uh, unicode which you can find it here if you inspect element let's see how it has changed it yeah here is the image data and this is the code this is a very long code here which is like sometimes or most of time firebase cannot handle that because there is a restriction for firebase if you are storing data if you are going to store this much of text which you have seen now uh, firebase is not going to let you so that's why on those cases you are going to change your mind and do not store images here but most of time for an e-commerce website you are not storing any image here in the description maybe some small images you can store but here is another field called in product image this is where you store all your images let's say your product is watch and you have different types of image from that watch and then you store that in the uh, product image and the product image is also going to store multiple images which we will cover in the future video these images which we upload here they will be stored in the storage section of your firebase application so that is what we cover in the future video for now let's see if everything is working just fine and i'm going to find any product and display it here so let us go to any website and let us go to citizen watches i'm going to bring some of the example product from here so i think they have a lot of products so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the world time so much expensive watches i don't know the internet is so slow so what i can do is i can pick any product so let's say i pick the gold one and i will just store that as a test so to see if everything is working just fine so this is going to be the product title and here is a very short description you can write it down there and here is how you can let's say this is for men and you can bold it to see it if if it is working or not and all the way down there we have all other description oops don't go anywhere oops okay now i have to refresh it i'm just copying a little more description from their website so that we can customize it i will copy this one and paste it here so oops it didn't paste properly but what you can do is you can of course customize it later for now it is just fine like you can do any types of styling let's say these are all italic and i am going to save it and see if it is working and for the price and i will just paste the price because in the future video i will do some demo products for now this is the tag is just watch and let's say this is nice also and for the image we will cover that later if you save this the changes it save the changes and it should add the product here which is the price is 99 you can add a dollar sign there but if you edit this one you can see everything is set up here like you have your styling here you can put them in another style let's say the price is au and generation let's say you're going to put them in a list so here are the lists you can use and you can do the rest you save the changes everything works just fine and let's try the image also you can click on this one and i'm going to download the image and save it in the desktop so if you don't like to watch this stuff feel free to just escape the video but i'm just going to demonstrate that everything is working just fine and here is the image and you save the changes it should save everything save the changes yeah everything is working just fine now even if you refresh your page i just refresh the page and it saved all the data in the database so i come and edit and here it is everything is working just fine for now this image is small and this is as base 64 and everything is working just fine but in the future video i will show you any problem for uploading large image into firebase and firestore so i hope it has been informative thank you for watching see you in the next video